Doma Sports Talk, worldwide, with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, I'm just going to say this. You know, middleweight division, we had that fight, Canelo Alvarez versus uh, Triple G. And it was a, a draw. You know, and most people thought uh, Triple G won that fight. Um, I thought he would want to, you know, it was, but it was close. And, you know, even though I haven't been really impressed with Canelo Alvarez over the last couple of years, I was still impressed with Canelo's performance. I thought he has a, a very good defense. He showed he showed some good qualities in that fight. Um, but this is about they are going to have that rematch. That they're going to make sure that rematch happens because I don't think these guys have anywhere else to go. Right? There's there's things that they could do. I probably said in other videos that you know there's Jamal Charlo that have moved up. And there's definitely Daniel Jacobs. I've said it on several occasions that Daniel Jacobs, um, the Triple G has Daniel Jacobs problems. He won't address it. But um, it is what it is. They're going to have this rematch. Because, you know, I just don't like the people they're talking about fighting. You know, you got people just talking about Floyd Mayweather, you know, who's two divisions lower, actually, and been retired for two years. You know, that's not who you should be talking about. You know, somebody asked Floyd Mayweather the other day, hey, come out of retirement and fight uh, Triple G. But I've never heard anybody ask Triple G to fight two divisions up. The Triple G has never left the middleweight division, ever, the middleweight division. So, I mean, you know, nothing against the brother. Triple, Triple G, you know, like I've said before, this is must-see TV. I love watching him fight. But, you know, the truth is the truth. You know, we can't just ask certain fighters to go up and down and, and weights and then the other ones that we want to put at number one pound for pound don't don't have to budge. We don't even ask Triple G to go up to the super middleweight division. We might soon because Andre Ward's not there anymore. But, you know, he doesn't have to do anything. Canelo never had to fight a middleweight before fighting for the, the middleweight championship. He didn't have to clean out 154 before being heralded as something special. These guys are definitely lucky that people consider this big a big fight. You know, they have the third largest uh, earnings in terms of li uh, live gate, right? So people consider this to be a great fight between these two, but I personally see that there's nowhere else to go. They're going to negotiate, they're going to fight, guaranteed. Because if they don't, then the other names will pop up. And the only one you'll see them asking about and talking about, you'll hear them talking about maybe David Lemieux or Billy Joe Saunders. They won't mention Jamal Charlo, and they're definitely not going to mention Daniel Jacobs. And those are the guys they should be fighting, because those are the two baddest dudes in the division. And I guarantee if we had a round robin with those four, Golovkin probably wouldn't win that tournament. But that's, that's the deal. That's the truth of the matter. So we won't address it. So like I said before at the top of this video, Canelo versus Triple G rematch will happen. Mark my words. Doma Sports Talk. Worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.